minutes left for play. Well, a glance at the stopwatch, but a comfortable lead it is. And if things remain as they are now, they will be arithmetically safe from the drop, Stuart. Well, this has been far better. Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. Attacking possibilities for the Magpies. Dangerous looking through ball. Key on the ball. Key on the ball. Now will the cross work out for them? Oh, tremendous goal! Aguero. Options in the middle. And she's in the mood today. Crossing opportunity. Looking ball, there could be a chance now. Is she going to do it? Key. What's up guys, this is Lesky and I am finally back. As you may notice, the background behind me is a bit different than what it usually is because in my personal life, I've been busy moving locations to a new apartment and now I'm finally getting settled in and can start making videos for y'all. And that's the main reason why I haven't posted a video on my channel in the past week or so. But it's a good time to move because FIFA 22 has a couple weeks left and then FIFA 23 will be out. And I'll get the game a few days early because I pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition. And then I can start making FIFA 23 content for y'all. So make sure you are stay tuned to the channel and hit that subscribe button on my channel if you haven't already. I will greatly appreciate that. So let's get started. We're going to be looking at this FIFA 22 Pro Clubs cam build that I've been enjoying towards the end of the year as FIFA's about, FIFA 22 is about to wind down. I've been having a lot of fun. I wanted to try the set piece specialist perk on this build. It's the last perk you unlock in Pro Clubs. I wouldn't say it's the best perk. It's pretty unique with some of the stuff that it allows you to do. And I mainly wanted to try it because of the Giant Throw. And as you can see, the playstyle name is Giant Throw. -in. The set piece specialist will give you the Giant Throw -in and the Long Throw -in trait. And it can actually be pretty deadly offensively. We are in the camp position, so make sure you're listed there. And I decided to go 5'4", 99 pounds. Go very short and light. You can go 5'3 if you want, but might as well go 5'4". You'll have the exact same stats and be an inch taller. I felt like going short and skinny like this is best just to increase the overall quickness, acceleration, agility, and dribbling for this build. Uh, the preferred foot does not matter, it's up to you. Let's look at the perks. As I already mentioned, this build has set piece specialists. It'll increase your player's abilities during set pieces, granting the giant throwing, the long throwing, and the powerful driven free kick, which will add more shot power onto your free kicks and help you convert your free kick chances maybe. And then it'll also give you the set place specialist traits and what I think it means here is when it comes to the cursor when taking a free kick on goal you know it's sometimes hard to keep it where you want it and it'll move all around when you have set piece specialist wherever you point the cursor it'll stay there exactly it will not move back to where it was so it'll help you control where you want your free kicks and it even works for corners doesn't work for penalties but the little yellow cursor on corners it'll stay exactly where you want it and I got a lot of assist with this perk and build off of corners the next two perks are Precision Pass and Threaded Pass. I wanted to go for both of the passing perks. Both of them will give you the Swerve Trait, Flare Trait, 5 Star Weak Foot ability on these types of passes. And this one will increase Short Pass and Long Pass, while Threaded Pass will increase Vision, which will improve your through balls. This build has crazy curve and crossing on the skill tree. So I didn't go for Pinpoint Cross, but I think like the first one or two games I used Pinpoint Cross and then switched it to Precision Pass. And I think I even tried Assist Streak also for a few games, but I ended up just using Precision Pass and Threaded Pass mostly. If you want to take a perk off on this build, I suggest taking off Precision Pass, or if you don't even want to really try Set Piece Specialist, this build would still be very good without Set Piece Specialist. You could go like all three passing perks. You could go Skill Dribbler, Active First Touch could be good, Assist Streak, Tireless Runner for the extra stamina, Distant Shooter if you like to take distant shots. You can put any of those perks that I just mentioned instead of Set Piece Specialist if you don't want that. Or if you want Set Piece Specialist, you could take off Precision Pass or Threaded Pass, whichever one you prefer. I prefer having Threaded Pass. I like getting assists with uh, through balls, and this perk is just very overpowered because it increases your vision. 
and your through balls are just so much more accurate with the perk on one of my favorite perks on perks in the game so these are three perks that i use let's take a look at the skill tree starting on the physical page there is not much skill points here we're a small cam we're not going to put a lot of skill points on the physical attributes so what i did here is just went for the strength and stamina and then I went for more stamina to bump it up to 75, which isn't too bad for a cam, I guess. And then I wanted to get this plus four reactions for two skill points to at least bump it up to 86. Not the best reactions, but in order to get more reactions, we'd have to go for this plus three or go down, get this strength and this reactions right here. So I just settled for the 86 reactions and we kind of need to save skill points for other categories anyways. So this is the physical page. Obviously, probably the weakest part about this build is the physical stats. It is a very weak build, so you can get bodied. Keep that in mind. But we're going to look at the dribbling page, which is very good and might be able to make up for those lack of physical stats. I decided to go for five-star skills. If you want, you can take one of the skills off and use those skill points somewhere else. If you want to upgrade the dribbling more or one of the categories more, um, you can do that. If you just want four-star skills or even three-star skills, you would have even more skill points to work with. But I decided to go for the five-star skills. I love using five-star skills on attacking builds like this one so on the left side you're going to get this balance and dribbling and then you're going to get this ball control both of these ball controls you'll get plus five for four skill points make sure you get the skills and then on the right we're just going to go all the way down to the length archetype we're going to get some agility and balance upgrades and then we're going to make sure to get the five star skills and the dribbling ability on this build is quite nice with 92 agility, 82 balance, 89 ball control, and 90 dribbling. You'd expect it to be pretty good for a small cam, so it is pretty nice. You are very elusive. You have the skills. You can beat people one-on-one, -on -one, do some playmaking, um, beat people down the line, get a cross off, whatever you have to do. The dribbling ability is solid. So let's take a look at passing. This page is a bit different than what you might have expected. But I mentioned earlier that this build has really good crossing and curve. And that's because on this left side, we go all the way down to the artist archetype for 18 total skill points. We get plus 10 crossing and plus 10 curve. So it'll go up to 93 crossing and 90 curve. The extra curve really does help a lot with your passes. Let's see, what does it say? Curve increases the bend and swerve of the ball when shooting or passing. So it also helps for like shooting, especially when doing finesse shots but it really does help for passes, adding extra bend and curve to avoid defenders and curl right to your player. And especially since we have both of the passing perks, they will both give you the swerve trait, which adds bend and curve to your passes. So since we have 90 curve and the swerve trait on those perks, we have like 99 curve on our passes and you really can thread some crazy passes through some tight gaps in between defenders um, because of the extra curve. And remember that the crossing is phenomenal, and that's why we didn't go for the pinpoint cross perk. Um, and then on this right side, we only have three skill points, and that is this plus four long pass and plus two short pass. We have 78 vision, 82 long pass, and 83 short pass. But remember, we have precision pass and threaded pass. Threaded pass will increase the vision, and precision pass will increase the long passing and short passing. So all three of those stats, which are the lowest on this page, are actually a lot higher than what you see because of those perks and that's why i didn't go for a ton of upgrades i really just wanted to try out the mat uh the high crossing and curve instead you really don't need to go for any more upgrades because you already have the perks the passing ability is crazy good on this build so make sure to utilize it let's take a look at shooting i decided to just settle for the three star weak foot on this build it saves us some skill points and we have both of the passing perks that gives us five star weak foot on those types of passes. So the only pass that you don't have a five star weak foot is crosses because we don't have the crossing perk. Um, so just keep that in mind. And this is more of a playmaking build where you're going to be getting assists rather than shooting. The shooting ability is still pretty good. So when you do have a chance, it is pretty reliable with the 85 finishing. Uh, but you're mostly going to be focusing on playmaking with this build. So on the right side, I went down to this long shots and shot power, get a lot of upgrades for six skill points. And then for another six skill points, we get finishing and volleys for 85 finishing, 88 volleys, 89 long shots, and then 70 shot power. We went for some shot power upgrades here. I got this free kick actually plus five free kick actually and plus three shot power. The free kick actually is pretty nice. I wanted to go for this because we have the set piece specialist perks. Uh, perk on it'll give you the powerful driven free kick uh, which will help 
with scoring free kicks and then having a higher free kick actually will obviously help as well so maybe you can score off of a direct free kick with this build and then to the right it's just more shot power not necessary if you want to use these three skill points somewhere else but I wanted to get that shot power to at least 70 it makes it look a little bit better rather than the 60s so the shooting ability really isn't too bad on this build even though it's mostly a playmaking build Let's look at pace. This build is extremely quick with the max acceleration for a Camden Pro Clubs at 96. The only thing is we have a big split when it comes to pace. Our sprint speed is pretty low at 86. I didn't go for much upgrades here. In my opinion, as a cam build like this one with really good dribbling ability, I think having more acceleration is a lot more important than sprint speed. It'll just help you create separation from the defenders. You don't want to get too close to defenders because this build is pretty weak. You can get bodied pretty easily. So having the high acceleration with the skill moves and the high agility can just help you create more separation and it'll just be better for a playmaking build like this one. So that's why I have the pace page like this. If you want some more pace, you'd have to take some skill points somewhere else off on the build. Like if you want to take off some skill moves or maybe take off like the stamina and strength or the shot power and penalties, you can get the extra sprint speed, but I really don't think you need it. But that's going to wrap it up for this fun and unique cam build in Pro Clubs. Let me know what you think of it in the comments if you give it a try. And if you're going to be using the set piece specialist perk on this build, make sure to take all the set pieces for your team. And if you get some throw in opportunities to just hold the X button down on Xbox as long as possible or the square button down on PlayStation and just chunk the ball up the field. And if you have a further throw in on the other team's side of the field, you might be able to just chunk it in the box and it'll almost be like a cross or a corner. And if you have a bigger dude on your team that can win some headers, they might be able to just score a header directly off your throw in, which would be pretty cool. So let me know what you think of this build in the comments. Hit that like button on this video for me and then hit that subscribe button on my channel if you haven't already done so. As usual, y'all have a great rest of y'all's day and peace out.